Let's go back to 2017. Kelly Bryant was the starting quarterback for the Clemson Tigers. It was his first year in that duty, and he led the Tigers all the way to the college football playoff, where they got killed in the first round and ended up going home early. What happened in the offseason? Well, they brought in Trevor Lawrence. Lawrence was the player with more potential and more talent, but Kelly Bryant was named the starter going into the 2018 college football season. After just a couple of games, Lawrence took over and helped lead Clemson football to another national title. This is eerily similar to what's going on currently with the Clemson football program. They returned last year's starter in DJ Uyangalale, who was good but not great. Some would probably even say he was bad. But in my eyes, he was an average quarterback who led them to 10 wins. In comes Cade Klubnik. He's a five-star quarterback with a lot of talent and a high ceiling. He played really well in the spring game, has been hyped up for months now, and according to Coach Sweeney, is not the starting quarterback. Could we see a 2018 season happen all over again? Is DJ actually the starter going forwards? And what is going on with this quarterback room? Today, we're going to talk about that. So without further ado, let's just get into it. There's that saying that if you have two good quarterbacks, you have no good quarterbacks. That is currently what I think of this situation, as some would say Clemson football has a problem right now. Do you play DJ or do you start the freshman in club Nick? That I cannot answer, but I can give you the background on both guys and give my opinion on the situation. Mr. DJ Yu was a five star coming out of California and arguably the top rated quarterback in his class. He'd come in and play immediately in 2020, as when Trevor was not allowed to play, and had a career night against Notre Dame. They ended up losing in overtime, but DJ showed that he was going to be the next big thing. That is why when Trevor went off to the draft, DJ got a ton of NIL deals, was a projected Heisman finalist, and was supposed to lead Clemson football to their next era. That is not how it ended up going. In week one, they played in that highly anticipated showdown with Georgia, and DJ looked awful. He went 19 of 37 for 178 yards and one touchdown, but he had negative 22 rushing yards, got sacked a ton, and just looked extremely uncomfortable. That's why they ended up losing to the Bulldogs, and from there, their season was pretty much over. They struggled to beat Georgia Tech in week three, as DJ only had 100 yards with zero touchdowns and zero interceptions, and he ended up having interceptions in six of his next nine games. He never had more than two scores in a game, and he just never really did anything. Clemson's best win of the year came against number 10 Wake Forest, and DJ's best game of the year came against Louisville, as he had three total touchdowns. He ended up leading Clemson to the cheez it Bowl, where they'd beat Iowa State by one possession, but he didn't do much as he threw a pick without a score. To finish the year, DJ threw for 2,246 yards with nine touchdowns and 10 interceptions. He did have four scores on the ground, but to say he was a disappointment was a complete understatement. Some thought that Clemson would bring in a transfer quarterback to replace him, others thought DJ would start, and then there was a small crowd that said Cade Club that could start right away. If you told me that a couple of months ago, I would have said you were crazy, but as we keep getting closer and closer to next year, I'm really starting to think that Cade Klubnik is going to be that guy. Originally, he was just a four-star recruit coming out of Texas, but Klubnik blew up his final year of high school, went toe-to-toe -to -toe at Quinn Ewers in the state championship game, and he established himself as the best quarterback in this year's recruiting class. He ended up finishing ranked as a five-star player and chose to go to Clemson. What's funny is he was actually Clemson's backup option compared to Ty Simpson, but they may have found the better guy. Cade enrolled early and has been talked about as one of the best workers and best leaders people have seen in a long time, and honestly, it looks like it's a matter of when and not if Cade Klubnik will play. As I mentioned earlier in the video, this is very similar to the Trevor Lawrence-Kelly Bryant battle back in 2018, and I think after about two or three weeks, if DJ doesn't perform, he will be replaced by Cade and he'll take over from there. But in terms of what's happened recently and what I think is going to happen for the rest of the summer, let's talk about that. When we take a look at the stats of the spring game, DJ Uyangale went 17 of 36 for 175 yards with an interception. Klubnik, on the other hand, threw for 106 yards with one touchdown, going 15 of 23. You obviously can't put too much weight on those stat lines as DJ was going up against the starters and Cade was going up against the second string guys, but honestly, it does seem that Cade has a better feel at the quarterback spot. And as we know, Dabo is going to play the guy who gives him the best chance to win. Contrary to my opinion, Sweeney had this to say, quote, DJ's definitely our starter. He's had a great spring and hasn't done anything not to be the starter. Cade is a really talented player. I mean, we've got two guys that I think we can win at a high level with, just like when Trevor and DJ were coming out of the spring. It's not often that you can say that, but I've seen enough from both of those guys to know that. It's a good situation. 
Dabo is always overly confident and doesn't and does not give away much information. So my takeaway from that is if their first game was tomorrow, DJ would be starting, but I think the door is open for Cade to take the job throughout the summer. We still have so much time and there's so much practice to go through, but in my eyes, I think come week one, Cade is going to be the starter, if not by the end of the 2022 season. What do you guys think though? If you're a Clemson fan, this is a hot topic, so who do you think should be the starting quarterback? If you're a fan of another school, what quarterback battle should I take a look at in my next video? And if you have any other idea for a video or a topic I could do next, be sure to let me know down below. If you want to support the channel, be sure to subscribe, smash that like button, and check out all my other videos on the end screen. I hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.